Hey, hello, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I know, I know. You miss me a lot. My 300 subscribers. Now I'm back with more exciting stuff. If you are new, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So now let's move to the video. In this video, we will talk about film grains. Film grain is more like a texture that brings a life to your image. It gives old school vintage look to your image, but it gives a very artistic look. So let's look how to create this film grain effects in Premiere. And watch the video till the end, cause I have some film grain overlays for you, and I'll show you how to use them at the end of the video. You can download this from the link in the description. So this is the clip we are gonna use. I shot this clip on my Fuji Film XT3. So let's take a closer look to this clip. There is no noise or grains there. It's totally digital. So let's add some. Go to the effects panel. Go to video effects, obsolete, and you will get noise HLS. Now, if you are using Premiere 2022, you will get this option in the obsolete panel. But if you are using the older version, like 2019 or 2020, you will get this effect under the noise and grain folder. So keep this in mind. Now, there are two types of grain effect we can make. Static and animated. Let's take a look at the static first. Select noise actualist. Drag it to your clip. No changes. So change the noise to grain. And increase the lightness. Let's increase it to 10. You can see the difference now. You can change the lightness amount as per your choice. You can see this is static. It's not moving. It's a thin layer of dust. And you can adjust this by using lightness. If you increase hue, that will add variation to the greens by using hue. And saturation makes some more and makes some less saturated. And you can also adjust the greens as, as you need. Now let's take a look at the animated greens. And the obsolete folder. Select Noise HLS Auto uh, and drag it to your clip. You will get same option as Noise HLS. Change the noise to grains and increase the lightness. Now you can see some animated grains. And you can also increase or decrease the speed of this animation by using noise animation. And again, you can use grain size, hue, saturation as you need. And if you don't want to follow all this process, you can simply download the overlays from the link in the description. You just need to import those clips, place it over your video, change the blending mode to overlay and you will get your film grain effects within a second. You will get both animated and static overlays in the link. So now make sure you hit the subscribe button, like and share this video. See you soon in the next video.